In this video we are going to create an expert advisor that is able to trade a simple moving average like this one. You see the red line here and we are going to see how we can do that with MQL5. In this video we are going to create an expert advisor. Let's see how we can do that. We start Meta Editor by clicking a little icon or pressing F4. We include the Trade MQH library to use trading functions. We create an instance of the CTrade class named Trade. In the onTick function, we first calculate the ask price by normalizing the double value obtained from symbol info double for the symbol's ask price to the number of digits specified by digits. Next, we calculate the bid price in a similar manner by normalizing the double value obtained from symbol info double for the symbol's bid price to the number of digits specified by digits. We create an array named price info to store price data. We fill this array with the price data by calling the copy rates function, which copies price data for the specified symbol and period. The function parameters are symbol for the current symbol, period for the current period, zero for the starting position, and three for the number of candles to copy. We create a string variable named signal to store the trading signal. We create an array named my moving average array to store the moving average values. We define the properties of a 20 period simple moving average SMA by calling the IMA function with parameters symbol for the current symbol, period for the current period, 20, for the moving average period, zero for the shift mode SMA for the simple moving average mode and price close for the price type. We call the copy buffer function to fill the my moving average array with the moving average values. The parameters are moving average definition for the handle of the indicator, zero for the buffer number, zero for the starting position, three for the number of values to copy, and my moving average array to store the result. We check if the current closing price, price info one close, is above the SMA, my moving average array, and if the previous closing price, price info two, close, was below the SMA, my moving average array two. If both conditions are true, we set the signal to buy. We check if the current closing price, price info close, is below the SMA, my moving average array, and if the previous closing price, price info two close, was above the SMA, my moving average array. If both conditions are true, we set the signal to sell. If the signal is sell and there are no open positions, positions total one, we execute a sell order for 0 0.10 lots at the bid price with a stop loss set to 150 points below the bid price. If the signal is buy and there are no open positions, positions total one, we execute a buy order for 0 0.1 lots at the ask price with a stop loss set to 150 points above the ask price. Finally, we output the current signal to the chart using the comment function. We press F7 to compile the code. If this was too fast for you, or if you don't understand what all the code is doing, you maybe want to check out the premium course on our website or watch one of the basic videos first. If the compilation works, we go back to MetaTrader by pressing F4 or clicking on the icon. Back in MetaTrader, we press Ctrl and R to start the strategy tester. Pick the expert advisor that we have just created, enable the visual mode, and start a strategy test. We should see the expert advisor on the chart. If you are already a premium course member and have an idea for a video like this one, you can send us an email. We have learned how to create an expert advisor that uses a simple moving average to generate buy and sell signals with just a few lines of MQL code. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, I think by now you should see the simple moving average on your chart, and I hope that everything worked for you. If it was too fast, you can check out our premium course on the website. 
For now I want to say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.